Well, Robin, Cheryl, one of the students on that trip telling me that she felt the ground shaking for about 10 seconds and things started crashing down around her as she and other students and teachers took shelter. As scary as it is, I, I feel so lucky and, and grateful. Leona Bergen speaking to us from Taiwan tonight after surviving a massive earthquake while on a cultural immersion trip with 19 other students from St. Ignatius College Prep in Chicago. At the time, the high school senior was having breakfast at their hotel in Hualien City, the epicenter of the earthquake. The whole place just started shaking and I thought it was a train at first going by. Then people around me started yelling like earthquake. I just heard all the plates crashing. I saw like glass in front of me. Guys, guys, get away from the the student group and other people in the hotel were immediately evacuated from the building. They ended up in the parking lot where they got their first look at the aftermath. What they saw shocked them all. It was just unbelievable. It felt completely not real. This white building is the hotel they were staying in, which after the quake ended up directly next to another building that fell at an angle, practically leaning onto their hotel. It was like really hard to believe that, first of all, that it had happened and then to see right in front of you the effects that you usually only see in pictures. Leona's father, Ryan Bergen, the director of publication at St. Ignatius, saying this happened to be the one day the group was staying in Hualien City. The trip started off up in Taipei, but just the day before the earthquake, they'd taken the train down to right where the epicenter of the earthquake was. The quake leaving at least nine people dead and injuring more than a thousand others. The director general of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Chicago detailing the rescue efforts on the ground. Our government responded very quickly. A thousand people involved in the rescue and also that the 12 aircraft. Director General Dennis Lay saying the global response so far has been overwhelming. We enjoy very much strong support and the friendship from all over the world. Thankfully, no one traveling with St. Ignatius was injured. Leona says the group has since moved to the western side of the island, away from the majority of the damage. I just hope everyone who was affected by anything is, is helped and we're, we're praying for them. The student group traveling with St. Ignatius is expected to be back in Chicago on Saturday. If you would like to help relief efforts in Taiwan, the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office has provided us with a link, and that'll be on our website. That's abc7chicago.com. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.